Hello everyone and welcome to another video and in this one we got Tsutsu or Baptiste Bawa who is also in this lobby and Valerio Gallo who is actually just driving in front of me in this one so you can see him on the screen right there and this is actually what the top of the top looks like and in this race I don't know how but I actually <laughs> okay, had a provisional pull until Tutsu. Tutsu got me got so me. my first couple of laps here were kind of okay-ish I mean I was in the GTR and GTR was actually a very very competitive and good car around here made the OP but also the Porsche 911 was maybe even better than a GTR but also some other cars were kind of okay so I mean I had a better car I'm not gonna lie uh, Valerio had an NSX which I tried, it was actually a couple of weeks ago, and it was absolutely awful to drive, so maybe one of the worst cars that I've driven on the circuit, and he was able to bring it into the top 5 in the qualifying, and not to mention what he did in the race, which you will see right in a couple of minutes. So here, I'm starting in P2, I mean, this was probably my best... It was, yeah, it was actually my best result of the day, and this race was kind of... It was actually looking quite special for me. I'm P2 in this absolutely insane lobby. World Tour drivers and, you know, tunable Coyote just behind me. And this GTR doesn't really have that great pace when it comes to the start, but it, it was kind of performing well in the race on the medium tires. So I decided to go with the strategy of running the mediums for 10 laps and then the hards for the rest of the race or five laps on the hard tires. I mean, on my car, the hard tires were absolutely awful. I just couldn't get, I just couldn't get the pace of the other guys on the hards. I mean, this car is slippery, it's sliding all the time, and you really have to be in full control. I mean, it is what it is. It's a GTR, it really slides in that third and second gear. Up to fourth gear is kind of okay-ish, but then, yeah, on the hards, it's absolutely incredibly difficult to control. Not to mention even the NSX that Valerio was driving, that was... I don't know how he was driving that car that great, but I mean, yeah, that's really what the esports level guys do. So they drive anything pretty much and it has to be, it's always fast, I don't know how, but it's always really, really fast. So Tutu right in front of me, he was pulling up a gap that was, by the end of this lap, I mean, we were halfway there and it was almost a second until the chicane and in the chicane I was always risking it. I mean. I know in the qualifying I was always very careful going through the chicane, but this was pretty much my only shot and my only shot of keeping up with them. So every time they had this line, it was absolutely incredible. I mean, you can always do like one lap or maybe two laps in a very consistent way, but doing that for 15 laps without a mistake, that is something very special to me. And this is something that I wanted to show you in this video. And I was just second gear on the way out, just being careful in that second, and then quickly upshifting into third, using that second gear as rotation, and then once again third, not to even, kind of trying not to slide that much. And as you can see, I'm always downshifting into first gear to get a little bit more rotation, straightening up the car in second gear, and pushing in that second up into third. I mean, with this car, I said it a couple of times, it can be quite tricky. So it's actually really, really difficult on the hards, but on the mediums it was okay. I mean, not, I was kind of okay. The softs would have been even better. The softs on this car really work. They, they absolutely, they're absolutely wonderful. I mean, but in general, as you know, as you push into the medium and hards, it can be quite difficult. But I was, I was kind of keeping up with them. I mean, the gap wasn't that great. It was, uh, it could have been actually better, but. Yeah, I tried giving it a bit of giving it a bit of time just to get into the rhythm and not not really forcing myself into some unwanted errors or maybe you know pushing the car to that limit where I'm actually losing more time than I would get and it was it was kind of looking okay. I was 1.2 seconds behind Tsutsu. Everything was looking pretty good. I was in the, I was kind of settling in that P2 until this happened. So he ran over the curb there and got himself a half a second penalty. I watched the replay a couple of times and to me that really wasn't looking like a penalty. But what can I say? This track can be quite interesting sometimes and the track limits are what they are. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's laughable, sometimes it's what, what the hell happened here, but it's just the way it is, I guess. And the way it works, you know, you can never really know. 
But here at second gear, once again, third, I was always struggling with this sector. And at this point, I was thinking, okay, he got a half a second penalty, get it, the gap is about 1.5, and I will potentially be in the slipstream area. So that's good for me. And I got to about half a second to him, six tenths, and I don't know how, but I perfectly managed to get through the chicane and bring the gap down to less than half a second. So I was really pushing, I was really trying hard, but out of slower corners, my GTR wasn't the best car. So the AMG, it's always, it might be one of the best cars out of slow corners. Okay, I'm not even going to mention the Porsche 911, but it's very good. Like the acceleration of the car is really good. The straight line speed isn't that great, but you know, as you can see here, he's always pulling away so quickly, but it also takes me a couple of, I would say a couple of hundred meters to really uh, get up to speed with him because he's got so much better acceleration. Look at that rotation through this section. I was always looking, I was always kind of looking, how, how is he doing that so consistently? I mean, I was rotating the car in first gear and then quickly up and up shifting into second, but then I realized, okay, Valerio is pretty much doing something differently here. So he's probably doing a different strategy, running the hearts and then trying to, by the end of lap five, going onto the mediums and taking the most on those mediums. I mean, he was still in contention for this one, even for the win, I guess. They, I mean, it's not even comparable. It's not even good to compare the GTR, uh, Mercedes AMG and an NSX on this track. NSX was absolutely awful. The tire wear on that car is nowhere near of the best cars. The car is absolutely undrivable once the car, once the tires get up to like 50% of wear. And I mean, to be honest, I don't even know how he was pulling up those quick lap times, but somehow I was keeping up with Tsutsu or Baptiste. I mean, this was maybe one of my best drives that I had in, let's say, a couple of months. I mean, just keeping up with him, staying in the slipstream area was was just, I don't, I don't know, it just felt great. <laughs> I mean, to be honest. And I was always uh, keeping up and until I reached this point and he was always a little bit faster, I mean, a little bit more consistent. I mean, not much, but it was always maybe a tenth, tenth and a half difference, and his lines were absolutely... I don't even know what to say, but his lines were always great. There wasn't one time he made like a, like a huge mistake that could have cost him like two to three tenths. It was always very, very clean and very, very consistent. But somehow in this lap, I got the fastest lap of the race, which was a 53.555. Somehow I managed to do that. In my previous race, I wasn't even able to get into the 50 freeze, which was, you know, which was quite an achievement so far. I mean, in this one, I was really trying to, you know, trying to stay with him, not really push the car that much because I had a feeling that he was saving up the tires. I mean, when you're in front, when you're really leading, you can save the tires. And Valerio, just as I mentioned before, decided to go into the pits by the end of lap five, and now he will push and he will actually it was the end of lap four and now he's trying to push a little bit more on those mediums trying to extend the stint on the mediums while we are just you know we're just racing on our own not nothing really much that is happening up in front i mean this wasn't the race where something spectacular happened every single lap there wasn't a lot of overtakes but it was just super consistent super clean and you know just as i mentioned nothing pretty much was going on but just the pure pace of this race was something exceptional i mean i was always trying to keep up with him always trying to get through this sector but i mean as you can see always the gap was around half a second i mean the lap later it was still half a second six tenths but it was always this first part that got me I mean, my tires were slightly going off, and second gear on this car isn't the best when you got tire wear. It's just not the best. But then I had a look at how he is driving this one. And just as I said before, look at the rotation, like first gear, and then quickly up shifting into second and just basically sliding through the turns. That is nothing more than sliding through the turns. And just being consistent while doing that is just an achievement by itself in time trial, not to even mention the race. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you this, and no. until I did make this uh, mistake, be a it was half a second. I mean, this half a second in the end really got me. So yep. I, I decided, you know, it was 
it wasn't worth it. I mean, I decided to risk it, but in the end, I realized it just wasn't worth it. I mean, I was pushing, 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 but the tires were going off, and I really couldn't... I couldn't find the pace was to stay with them and until I got into the penalty zone which was in the next lap the gap was already about two and a half seconds How and I dropped to P3 so just that one little sector maybe could have got me that P2 but yeah my tires were going off the other guys were really doing a wonderful job you know with the tires and everything just with the consistency my GTR was slightly dropping off I think that was the reason because I was really pushing in those first six or seven laps i was really uh, really trying to stay mistake. with tutu but then this yeah this really got me maybe if i stayed a bit cleaner just you know maybe not not really pushing that much maybe this would have been eventually better and my whole in general overall pace would have been better but you know when you're so close up to front you always want to you always want to push as much as possible, but now it was time to get into the pits. As you can see, my tires were absolutely awful at this point. I mean, I was really trying to keep up with them, but you can see how much sliding that I got when I got into the pits. You know, it was time to get on the hard oh, tires, which was not great for me, honestly. The, the most difficult part of the race was on the hearts. I mean, just getting this car up to speed on the hearts is just absolutely incredible i mean it's sliding so much out of that second and third gear you really have to you really have to try hard to even make it through the turn and you can see really the difference here like the nsx is always the best car i mean not always the best car but you can see how much more pace he's pulling out of some sc some corners and this was I, I think the most outrageous move that he did right here on the outside look at this on the outside with that nsx i mean i was thinking to myself okay i'm not that bad but just when I'm looking at this driving okay, style, I'm like, incredible, absolutely incredible. And I was, I was kind of okay that he did this move. So, you know, if someone else did this, I would be like, okay, yeah, that, that wasn't supposed to happen. But the way he was driving through that corner, the way the car handled through that section was absolutely incredible. I watched this replay a couple of times, just trying to figure out, you know, what happened. How is he driving so fast? But I don't know. It's probably consistency, like doing all of the right things. But look at this move once again from nowhere. This this absolute dive bomb and just carrying that speed. And absolutely incredible. I mean, I don't know how he how, how he was able to carry so much speed after doing that move. And that's that's the part that, that's really that's really kind of I, I don't know, that it gives you that wow moment for for a little while and then you look at the replay and you see Okay, yeah, maybe I could have done it, but maybe once, not like 15 times. You know, the idea of getting that quick is not pushing every single lap, because, you know, once or twice you're gonna make a mistake. You will definitely make a mistake. But doing that for 15 laps with ease, that's really a problem. Like, I was really trying to push up, Let's maybe trying to stay with Coyote, but I got myself into that position it where is. I got one second penalty and instead of finishing in p4 or maybe even p3 um i'm pretty much looking at the one second penalty and i will probably lose the place to nico i mean i wanted to mention all of the other guys yeah. in this video but it would be a very long list of names that i would mention so if you were in this race i didn't mention you it's it would take me a lot of time just to mention all of you it's you know it's I mean, it's, it's a very long list, not gonna lie. And this Mitsubishi wasn't the best car in this one. I mean, it was kind of okay but I was quite surprised on the pace that he got with that car. I mean, even the consistency, everything was absolutely out of charts. And I was really trying to push, I was really trying hard, you know, cutting the chicane. And in this point, I thought I would lose it. I was, I was like this close to losing it there in the, in the last lap. And somehow I managed up to finish in p5 a bit unfortunate race but then when i was looking at the replay i was just constantly trying to figure out what oh, what man, i did what and what can i improve to get a better result i was thinking okay I yeah like, um, i just need to be a little bit more consistent trying to find the pace where i wasn't really looking for that and just those little details even like every single detail matters so guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and See you next time. Bye.